Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Could be. Who knows? Look, there's something wrong with her if she doesn't get what you're doing. Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Keith Sinte, and I'm happy to do your e-critique. The winner is Stefan. I'm not sure if it's Stefan or Steven. Um, congratulations to you. I think that uh, this is an amazing project. You should be very proud of yourself for this. Uh, I am a former supervising animator at Encore VFX, and currently I am at Industrial Light and Magic, uh, working as a senior animator. And um, I've been in the animation industry about 25 years now. Work started out in uh, traditional animation at Disney Feature Animation, and eventually uh, went over to DreamWorks feature animation and then uh, rolled over uh, to the digital side of things at uh, Sony Imageworks and worked on projects like Open Season and Surf's Up and then eventually got into visual effects and um, was able to work on uh, projects like the Transformers movies, uh, Tron, uh, various Marvel projects, Iron Man 2, um, and uh, the Avengers movies, um, and uh, uh, most recently actually uh, some Star Wars projects, and so that's been really fun for me. Um, so I'm happy to uh, look at this from all different angles. I've had the privilege of working in traditional as well as all CG and visual effects, and so that's kind of where my background is. Uh, let's take a look and see what you've been up to here. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Could be. Who knows? Look, there's something wrong with her if she doesn't get what you're doing. Yeah, let me clear off. I was making some notations uh, beforehand. So I'm just going to get rid of, of a couple of those here. Um, so I think overall the piece reads very nicely. So I'm just going to go through. There's just a, a few minor things that uh, that I think you could improve on, and I'm going to start with this, uh, the last guy here. So there's this. What I was put a little arrow there to remind myself. This I think it's the tip of his toe, maybe. Maybe his foot is is sticking up. You know, like like this or something, and we're just seeing the tip of his toe. So I would eliminate that. Because it's not necessary, and it sort of, it, since it's a bright color, it draws your eye right down to it. The other thing is the way that he is um, holding the glass, it gets a little slippery in his hand here. If you look, this obviously could be tightened up. And just the overall looseness. I think he starts out pretty good with, with the fingers, but I think he could separate this one even a little bit more and bring it up here. To add even a little bit more contrast to the pose and uh, this is pretty good I would probably bring this knuckle up again a little bit higher there watch the slippery on the on the hand um, this uh, his other hand I think for the whoops for the most part feels feels pretty good. It's a little hard to read because of the rendering, um, this this pinky in particular. But I think that you know I can see it and it and it's reading pretty good. So the actual pose is is fine. This gets a little bit um, well washed out. I'm not sure what's going on. The the uh, leg here. This one works pretty good, and you have the the hips. But then everything sort of flattens out through here this this entire this entire shape just reads as one flat shape and it might be due to the way it was lit I'm not sure but even still I think I would um, bring in that that knee I think I did a drawing already maybe I got rid of it where is it here um, see this very clean drawing no uh, <laughs> so I would bring in the uh, bring this in a little bit and try and get Maybe it was a little bit more um, perspective out of this this leg as well. Um, try and get the pelvis area to to read 
clearer and cleaner. Now it's okay if you want to bring this this leg out here like you did, but somehow you need to bring back the volume of this of this leg. And the way that it's kind of tangenting with the with the waistline creates this straight across uh, thing here, which isn't isn't helping anything either, as far as having it read as what we you know what we know it is, right? Um, I think that his lip sync. I'm gonna go back. Where is he? There's something wrong with her if she doesn't get what you're doing. Yeah, I like your little head shake at the end. I think that that works really nice. Uh, and as far as the mouth shapes and lip sync reading, I think that uh, that looks good too. There's something wrong with her if she doesn't get what you're doing. So when he says should, if there's something wrong with her if she doesn't, if, wait, she doesn't get, where is it? There's something wrong with her if she doesn't get what She doesn't, that's it. Something wrong with her if she doesn't get. So it's in the she doesn't get the sh part of that. Wrong with her if she. You kind of. She I think this is. Can't can't uh, scrub it right now to um, hear the sound, but in there is some room for improvement when she when he says she doesn't she doesn't. We should see that blend out from the ooh shape in the she doesn't almost an ooh shape she doesn't and uh blend out into there's something wrong with her if she doesn't get yeah it's almost like he's saying Shh, when he's being Shh. is it here is this the sh wrong with her if she doesn't get what I you're think doing it is. um wrong with her her wrong with her so this shape here in the R you could open up just a little bit more and get a little bit of upper lip um, for that R shape just raise it up just a tiny bit it's a little sloppy in my drawing sorry wrong with her. maybe this is your SH but it's in the wrong spot Yeah, this should still be the, the SH here. So maybe you need to just slip these shapes here and then get your, your E. It probably just needs to be slid forward a little bit, a few frames. It doesn't get what you're doing. I like your kind of half lid thing you do, and then they almost blink. Now one thing about um, eye shapes that I'm going to mention to you, that a lot of... Um, well, beginning animators, I'm not sure what level you are, but a lot of animators forget about is the way that you want to uh, portray the eyes is um, to kind of shape them. So you take, for example, the... Uh, so if you look at a profile of an eye, and there's this bulge on the eye, the cornea, here. This would be the the lids and the so anyways we have you have this um, bulge on the eye the, the cornea and it kind of sticks out a little ways from the surface of our eye and of course the pupil you know is sits back a little bit well what that bulge does there is it causes the um, it causes the lid to react in such a way that a lot of a lot of rigs have an auto rig, but if they don't, and even if they do, um, it's still incumbent upon you to shape that eyelid. And what I'm talking about is, if the character, for example, if this is the eye, and the character's looking in this direction, let's see, this is the nose, mouth. Okay, so if the character's looking to screen right, here's the other eye. The pupil of course moves to the right and therefore the, that cornea part of the eye is going to do a little push on the uh, upper lid. 
what that means is the highest point generally speaking is going to be right here where that's pushing so in other words this part should be a little bit lower and then this comes up so this should be the highest point of the eyelid okay and then if the character is going to look in the uh, in the other direction it's the same thing um, where the the pupil is going to push this part of the lid up and then this part can kind of come down it can be maybe sort of sculpted into a teardrop shape but you um, you know, you take it upon yourself to sculpt those things. Okay. So, um, if, the, if in, for an example, in your eyelids here, they're a bit, maybe it's just the way this is rendered, but this is also just worth noting. I'm just going to teach anybody that might be watching this. Um, and in the case of your character looking straight ahead, um, looks like your eyelid goes a little bit flat across here, which actually is kind of a cool look but in the corners there could be a little bit of room for some shaping there so just reminded me to uh, kind of go over that a little bit with you good stuff okay now lastly on this guy is the uh, is the just just in general the amount of frames that it was held at the end I'm not sure what what it was here maybe you ran out of time or, or what, but he goes completely stone still, and your fluid sim or whatever is happening here in the, in the wine glass keeps moving. So we have basically like 26 frames, I think, or so of, of non-movement when he stops talking moving. So there, right about this frame, uh, 277, he stops moving, and then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, well, actually, no, about 15 frames of pixel lock where there's nothing moving. And in a in a um, traditionally animated movie, we could get away with doing what we call trace backs, where you would have a drawing and you could kind of cycle between drawings that weren't really moving um, because the line weight would move and would jitter and sort of make it look like it's alive. Whereas with CG animation, we don't, don't have that luxury. So if something stops, it just... You know, and it freezes, and all of a sudden you think it's like, well, what, what, you know, what happened? So, um, I would animate this all the way out to the end, and have either maybe some breathing, what we call keep alive, uh, maybe some slight overshoot into a settling position, something to, um, again, keep keep those frames alive there, while while you're running out the uh, the clock there for the wine to settle. Um, the girl is really great. I think she's fantastic. I hope you get a better render of this because it's kind of blurry and hard to see what's going on. But Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Could be. <laughs> Do you think it's because... Do you think it... Um, might just be the playback. I'm not sure, but double check your lip sync compared to when the sound happens because it seems to be off by a frame or two. Do you think she starts the do you think and I, it seems like her shapes are ahead of the sound by a frame or two let's see do you think it yeah so I think just to tighten that up just take your mouth shapes and delay them a frame or two but check it on your end because again it might be the way that I'm looking at it it could be the speed of things I'm not sure but do you think it's because I use the F word every so often yeah, really appealing and uh, great job on on, oops, on her character. Um, I wish we could, again. I wish we could see her. That's why I did a little note down here to myself because it's it's hard to see the um, you know her fingers and, and kind of what's what's playing down there. So just be aware that when you do something like that, you want us to, as an audience, not be distracted by something that just boop, pops up out of frame. Here and there, because if you know if I'm talking to you and I get these little things, and you're supposed to be watching my face, the audience is going to go down there, and we want to you want to keep the focus, you know, up here. So maybe what you need to do there is 
and maybe again it's it could be the render um, just calm the hands a little bit let us get a glance at their hand okay their hands and we'll look up back at her and then if we see something moving out of the corner of eye we'll know that it's the hands Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? I think that uh, I was I wasn't sure at first about this look to screen left the way it the way that we sort of it pulls her. We're already looking to screen left. She does this nice thing where she makes has her eyes look and then her head follows it. Um, I think it's because I use the F word every so often. Hmm. There's a drift here with the eyes. The head goes to screen right. The eyes stick or stay at screen left. And then this pullback is great. But I'm just wondering if this could be cleaner going from I use the F word every her, her facial pose here where she's obviously we could see her eye direction and her and her head is there what I mean is you're kind of already looking off the screen left and then her head pulls so it's, so it's like she's talking her eyes drift and then her head her eyes stay and her head sort of go and finally gets pulled over so I'm just Wondering if you could delay or have her eyes a little bit like here's your here's your focus here. And we can see that she's looking in a certain direction and then her eyes kind of wander a little bit. So maybe this wandering you could keep her a little bit favor a little bit more towards where she was looking previously and then do a little bit more of an eye dart which pulls the head then. So she's talking, 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 eyes and then head. Does that make sense? I hope. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Cool. Yeah, she's brilliant. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Um. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Again, it's hard to tell if it's the playback or not, but when she says so often. Where is it? A nice little, uh pull of the jaw here too. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so Yeah. It's the S. Every s somewhere in here is an S. And you're hitting the often where the S uh, uh, so should be. Every S F word every, every s There. S can hear it there's an s here somewhere that we're not you're not hitting so just close your mouth up and hit this s shape and then into your o so i think it's the s that's missing there you think it's because i use the f word every so often got it every s yeah all right let's move on to the gentleman every so often could be who knows Look. So he has some great stuff going on with him also. He when you see her, she's so dynamic and and that he comes across and it's great that you have this subtle acting here, but he seems to almost a little bit too stiff. So for example, when he leans forward here probably it'd be good to right now there's this all moves as one shape. It's just so rather than that, have him lead with the head a little bit, and then body kind of catches up. So there needs to be some overlap between the two. See, if I roll between this, you can see that he's, when he rolls forward, everything kind of moves at the same time, even his hand down there. So that little bit there kind of um, makes him look a little bit stiff. I'm not sure what's going on with his hand. I was a little bit, uh, I was trying to figure out what, you know, you, if maybe you intended to have him flip a coin at one point. 
I don't know. Uh, kind of looks like he flips a coin and catches it. But And then I was thinking, well, maybe if he had a cigarette, maybe he decided against the cigarette. It seems like he needs a prop in this hand because he's, he's drawing our eye to him doing this gesture. And maybe I'm just missing it, but... Could be. Who knows? I for it every so often. It's because I use the... So, uh, maybe you could just kind of rethink that, that part a little bit. The, um, I think that his, uh... Use the F word every so often? Could be. Who knows? Look. <laughs> so funny. Um, but I think that you have some, you know, like I said, really good subtle, subtle motion here. This little shrug that he does is great. I think that reads, reads really well. Here... If you get a little bit more character in his face, um, so I was thinking maybe even just a little, a little ace, a little asymmetry um, in the face would be good. Oops. So like, uh, let's see. Um, so maybe just a hint of a crooked smile, a little bit of the jaw to one side. You know, maybe a little squash on this side and stretch on this side. So you'd pull the, the jaw over and maybe the nose a little bit. And then this side could be maybe a little bit more squashed than this side. Just to give it, you know, more texture and character. You think it's because I use the F word every so often? Could be. Who knows? Look. The little eye dart you do at the very end is nice. Who knows? Dunk. Um, his ear looks a bit faceted. So it looks like you need to just put him in high res. Obviously, not a big deal or detail, but just check and make sure that if there's a higher res, you can put this. And for those of you out there that don't know, you can find a way, if you can select the geometry and the outliner even, and push the three key. <clears throat> Excuse me, it should pop that up. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Could be. Who knows? Look, there's something wrong with her if she doesn't get what you're doing. Cool. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? All right. Well done. Well done and congratulations. I hope that uh, these notes help you out to polish this off and get it even a little bit further along than you have it here. Um... Really well done. It's been a pleasure doing the critique for you, and good luck in the future.